Is there any Sahih Hadith in which the Prophet said, call yourself Ahle Hadith? No reply. So therefore, I don't call myself Ahle Hadith, I call myself Muslims, therefore I'm a Pakka Ahle Hadith. You all are Kacha. 90%, 95%, maybe 98%. I'm Pakka Ahle Hadith. Ahle Sahih Hadith. It makes sense or not? When you say you follow Quran and say Hadith, there is no Quranic verse in which Allah says call yourself Ahli Hadith. There is no Sai Hadith in which the Prophet said call yourself Ahli Hadith. There is another group of people similar to Ahli Hadith. They say we are Salafi. So I say, Salafi? They say I am a Salafi. So I said, what is the Salafi? So he said, Salafi means following the Salaf is following. I said, even I follow Salaf is following. I follow Allah, His Rasul, and the Salaf is following. The generation at the time of the Prophet, the next generation, and the next generation. But then I asked him, that did any time, is there any verse in the Quran which Allah says, call us Salafi? They said, no. Is there any hadith in which Allah's Prophet said, call us Salafi? And they said, no. But, there was one Salafi who came and gave me a hadith. The Prophet said, I am a Salaf. And he quoted, Sahib, Sahih Muslim. Didn't give me the reference. I said, fine. I went to Sahih Muslim. Let's check. There was a hadith. Sahih Muslim, reference is 2405, something odd like that. 2400 something. Hadith, Sahih hadith. But the it was a picked up hadith in between. The complete hadith says that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her daughter, that I am an excellent salaf for you. I am an excellent salaf for you. The father telling his daughter. Now Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa told his daughter, Hazrat Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, I am an excellent salaf. As I told you, Salaf literally in Arabic means predecessor, forefather. So if I tell my daughter, I am your Salaf, no problem. An Arab who is a Christian, if he tells in Arabic to his daughter, I am your Salaf, no problem. So literally no problem. But Islamically, Islamically predecessor, fine, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was an excellent Salaf for his daughter. But here, every father may not be an excellent Islamic person for his daughter. Maybe the daughter of the children may be more Islamic than the father. So every father can't, can't tell the children. No. Literally, if you understand the word Salaf, according to scholars, who the Salafis claim to be good scholars, they say that literally, no one today can say he's a Salaf. Why? We are Khalaf. We came afterwards. The Salafs are before us. So compared to the previous people, we are Khalaf. Yes, we can be Salaf of our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. So technically we can be Salaf, Islamically we can't. Islamically, we are Khalaf. Clear? Fine. When I had gone to Australia, the first time I went to Australia, I had gone for lecture tour, and a group of good brothers, mashallah, following Quran and Sunnah, Sai Hadith, they called me for a lecture tour. And normally we had correspondence, we came. And we reached in that city. I, won't, I don't name the group, they're good brothers, mashallah. We reached in the night. So I and my camera crew were with me. So we offered salah. We offered the salah. So they said, hey man, you pray like us. I said, what do you mean I pray like you? I pray like the prophet. He said, hey man, you pray like us. I said, what do you mean I pray like you? I pray like the Prophet. See, this, this group, mashallah, they are following Quran and Sahih Hadith. But what they should have said, we are proud that you pray like the Prophet. They said, you pray like me. I never saw him praying before. I am praying from years. So I am not praying like him. I am praying like the Prophet. And Alhamdulillah, he is also praying like the Prophet. So what he should have said was, we are proud that you pray like the Prophet. But he said, hey man, you pray like us. Very happy. Because when they called me, they had seen my cassettes. But they did not know 
this is what Zakir's piece of comparative religion is correct. But we don't know his Akhidah. We don't know his Akhidah. So reluctantly they called me, saying that, fine, I'm a specialist in the field of comparative religion. They saw my cassette, they didn't find anything wrong. But they didn't know my Akhidah. They, they didn't know how I pray. So they called me reluctantly. But when they saw me praying, they were happy. Ah, hey man, you pray like us. So I said, no, I pray like the Prophet. But they were good brothers, mashallah. So then I gave the same, you know. Then we sat for dinner and we had a good talk. And the same topic I said, I'm a pakka Hanafi, I'm a pakka Shafi, pakka Hamli, pakka Elia, this. So when it came to Salafi, I said, I'm a pakka Salafi. But nowhere does the Quran say, call it a Salafi. Oh, there's no Sai Hadith in which the Prophet said, call it a Salafi. So most of the brothers, they agreed with me, except for one. One brother, he disagreed. All the other brothers, Mashallah, Zakir, bye. Brother Zakir, we agree with you. One brother, he said, he asked me, Brother Zakir, do you know Sheikh Nasr al I said, yes, I know him. What do you think of him? I said, Mashallah. One of the greatest Muhaddis of our time, that was a few years back, when Sheikh Nasr al-Bani was alive. Rahimullah. May Allah's mercy be on him. Ha, you agree with him? He's a good scholar. I respect him. I love him. I revere him. Okay, I will give you his statement. So he went on the internet and he downloaded from albani.com his fatwas. Now reply to these fatwas. And Sheikh Nasr al Albani, may Allah's mercy be on him. I love him. I respect him. I revere him. I appreciate him, mashallah. And he is of one of the two groups of scholars. One group of scholars saying, saying Salafi is fard. And he belongs to that group of scholars, one of the staunchest. Saying Salafi is fard. So I, I said, Alhamdulillah, if anyone, the day anyone proves me from Quran and Sahih Hadith, if today someone proves me, I will accept it today itself. But I will check it up. Huh? If anyone proves to the day anyone proves to me from the Quran and the Sahih Hadith that calling yourself Salafi is a fard, or calling yourself Ahliyad is a fard, I will call. Or calling yourself Hanafi is a fard, or Maliki is a fard, I will tell that. In action I am, in label, I prefer calling myself Muslim. So when I went to his fatwas, Sheikh Nasir Dalbani, he gave fatwas of great scholars, and he said that Abu Hanifa said, and the hadith he quoted that there will be 73 sects, all will go to hell, except one, that is the Jamaah. And if you cross-reference, Jamaah means the first three generation. Cross-reference, Sahih Bukhari. I agree with that. He quoted Abu Hanifa said, Imam Abu Hanifa said, that the Jamaah means following the way of the companions, the next generation, next generation, the self is following. I said, I do that. He gave the quotation of Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. It is obligatory that you follow the self is following. I said, I do that. He gave the fatwa of Imam Shafi. It is compulsory you follow the three generation, the pious predecessors. I said, I follow. What's the problem? But did these people say, call yourself Salafi? Abu Hanifa never said that. Imam Shafi never said that. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah never said that. People assume he said, he never said that. So now, there is no proof from Quran and Sahih Hadith that you should call yourself Salafi. There is a khiyas, a logic of Sheikh Nasr al and I appreciate Sheikh Nasr al he's a very good scholar. Inshallah, within a few minutes I will end. There's a question and answer session. How I had a question and answer session? If you go to Nasr albani.com, you'll find there. He tries to convince with logic why you should call yourself a Salafi. He says, questioner and Sheikh replying. Sheikh asks, what are you? The questioner says, I'm a Muslim. The Sheikh Nasir al-Bani replies, what type of Muslim are you? Are you a Khariji? Are you a Mutazali? Are you a Shiai? Are you a Rifadi? 